this evening, I'm taking along with Gary as he goes out to look for a fallow buck at the tail end of the rut. Gary knows of a good rut stand in the wood where I shot a good buck a couple of years ago. Although it seems the rut is over, there may still be a buck in the area. We spot a fallow doe grazing in the next field, but she's not in season yet, so we leave her alone and move on down to the wood. We're moving on the rust stand in the wood. It looks like we're a bit too late. The stand are occupied. The light's quickly fading, but we spot a group of deer in the wood. Unfortunately for us, these are all does, and we're forced to admit defeat, at least for today. As the night is still young, I decide to head back out later in the evening to have a look for a fox. So I'm uh, out quite regularly on this farm. It's a dairy farm, but he has a few chickens in the yard. And um, where we are here, we've got a flat field in front of us here. The farm yard's just down over here. And there's a wood just here, to my left. And you tend to get foxes coming out of the wood, trotting down across this field to the farm and um, we found quite a few poles of feathers and that out in this uh, field in front of me. I've knocked over quite a few foxes over the years, uh, just down on this bit of ground by just standing here um, and just waiting for something to come out. So uh, it's a bit of an ongoing battle with these foxes. I keep coming down, I keep knocking them over and um, the long and short of it is that the farmer keeps losing chickens but uh, there's always another fox to take its place. So. Um, it's sort of more a goodwill gesture than anything, but uh, we'll have a little stand around here for an hour or so. The weather's not meant to be particularly good, it's meant to come in with a bit of rain for long. So uh, I'll give it an hour or until the rain starts coming in, we'll just see what happens. You'll notice I've got, I don't know if you probably want me to see it in the camera, but I've got a hedge behind me which is probably 
about 10 foot tall, so uh, it just uh, hides my silhouette here. So what I'll do is I'll stand here with a rifle on the tripod and just wait and see, spot with a the thermal, see if anything comes across the field. If it does, I'll probably just give it a little squeak and see if I can pull it in. And um, yeah, that's, the, that's the, the basics of my plans. Quite a simple plan, but simple plans are often the best. So uh, yeah, it's worked several times in the past, so um, I'll just give it a little while and see what happens. to just see if there's anything else around. Maybe give it another squeak for a bit. And um, if nothing else comes in, I'll walk out and pick that up. Okay, so that was a good result. Um, I'm pleased with that. So that fox just come trotting in, just lovely to the squeak there. Um, all I did was, uh, I just gave it a, a mouse squeak um, by just uh, sucking on the, the palm of the hand um, with a kind of a sort of sound and all I do is I do that and just use the palm of the hand to amplify it so I'll sort of go and that will draw them in from quite a distance away and then when they come in a bit closer I tend to do the same thing but without using the palm of the hand just go and that's enough to uh, to just, just pull them in the last sort of uh, last hundred yards or whatever it is that I want to draw them in from. Um, it's surprising you haven't got to be particularly loud with that. I've, uh, I've pulled foxes in from probably 200 yards, maybe a bit further just doing that. Just literally that little like a mouse squeak. And uh, yeah, they just come in lovely to that. It seems to get them every time. So once again it's worked and uh, although we didn't have an awful lot of luck with the, with the fallow bucks earlier, uh, at least we managed to get a bit of a result tonight. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And do ring that bell for more videos. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.